I am gonna let you in on a little secret. I have never had my home office or craft room. I usually just set up shop on the kitchen table. Well, all of that is about to change. I am taking this guest room, I am claiming it as my own, and I'm gonna set it up as my home office and a craft room. I'm gonna start clearing it out. I enlisted the help of my identical twin boys. Now, twin A is two minutes older than twin B. Do you think you can tell them apart? Some days, I still have a hard time telling them apart. So what we did was we took all of the linens and the mirror and the mattress and the nightstands, we took all of that out and then I broke down the bed and then they helped me carry all of that out. I really appreciated their extra muscles and enthusiasm to help me clean out this room. And then I cleaned it up, I got my vacuum out and I vacuumed the floors and all along the baseboards so I had a clean slate to work with. Now let me go over the design plan I have for this room. The first thing that I needed to do was find an inspiration piece. Now in the past I've used some pillows or a piece of artwork or some fabric that have really given me that inspiration. Well this time I found a gorgeous rug at Tuesday morning. It was a hundred dollars and it has a beautiful gold beigey color, some gray blues and a little bit of green. So my entire color palette that I'm using for this room is derived from this rug. Every office or craft room needs a good workspace and so I am creating my own desk and I'm going to make it out of these side tables. <laughs> Stick with me, I will show you my inspiration piece. I found some desks that I loved on the Ballard Design website, and they had such beautiful scroll details on them, on the sides, and so I thought, if I found some side tables, I could make my own, which I did. I found these at Ross, they were $79 a piece, because when you add it together, it can get pretty pricey, but it's a lot less expensive than the Ballard Design desks so I'm happy with the price. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a top and I'm gonna put some details along the side and I'm also going to paint it a different color, so keep your fingers crossed that I can make it. I'm gonna bust out my power tools and I'm gonna try my best to make it look like the inspiration piece. Another thing that I really liked about these desks is that they had that open detail so that you can still see the rug as opposed to a big block of a desk on top that completely blocks the rug. And that way you can see the design and the color inspiration that's coming from the rug. My office makeover is in collaboration with Heidi Sambel and her room of the month. Now Heidi has a new channel, it's called Heidi Sambel Home. She has such amazing things over there. You are definitely gonna wanna check out this new channel. Along with Heidi's video, there will also be a YouTube hop. All of these very talented ladies are going to be making over a room in their home. And I know that they will have some great inspiration for all of you. I will leave a link to Heidi's channel in the description box below, as well as a link to the video that you need to hop to next. Another big project that I'm going to be taking on is updating a buffet. Now when we bought this house, there were a few items that were left over from the previous owners. This was one of those pieces and I love the way that the legs are shaped and the detail that's on it. However, the color is just not going to work in this office, so I'm going to change it. Here is the plan. I'm going to completely redo the color on this buffet using only chalk spray paint. Okay, do you think I can do it? Well, it's done. I'm already finished with it. I'm not gonna tell you if it worked or not. You're gonna have to come back next week and see, but it looks beautiful. In fact, here's a sneak peek of it. Okay. Here's one of the finished doors. I'm going to change the hardware on it as well. I got these uh, beautiful door pulls. I purchased these online at Amazon and I love the acrylic handle with the brush gold on it. I found a coordinating knob. 
See that pretty little knob? It has that brushed gold as well. I got this at Lowe's and it's really going to just update the entire look of this buffet. The brushed gold on those handles became another inspiration piece for me. I wanted two mirrors, one on each side of my buffet, and I looked all over the place to find the ones that I thought would be perfect. I found them at at-home stores, and they have a beautiful brush gold, almost like a champagne color, rim around it, and I really like the way that it's shaped. I love the rectangle and the circle on the top. It's a little more modern and contemporary, but the champagne gold color really makes it a more classic and traditional piece. Above my buffet, I decided I wanted to do a gallery wall. My inspiration for this came from the Restoration Hardware website. I saw a lot of examples of how beautiful a gallery wall could look but their gallery wall is really expensive, so I'm going to make my own. I went to the Dollar Tree and I got these frames. I love the gold room around it. It's gonna match with the rest of the gold. And this is gonna be such a fun thing to have because I can switch out the pictures for different holidays or seasons, and I think it's going to be a perfect piece to put above the buffet. Now, this big blank wall is gonna get a makeover too. I'm going to add some boxed moldings. It's gonna be a great architectural detail. This molding I got from Lowe's, and I'm going to do three boxes. Not only will this add some nice detail to the wall, but it will go around my mirrors and around my gallery wall, and it will frame those to make them look a lot more substantial. Now it's the best part, it's time for the accessories. I'm going to first of all use these lamps. If you remember, these two lamps were in the room before on the nightstand. I love the shape of them. They have such beautiful swoops and swirls and carvings all along the lamp. It's the right size, however, it is not the right color. So I am going to repaint it. What color do you think I'm going to paint it? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I'm excited for these lamps. And then also I'm going to be doing some jars, some desk accessories, and then some florals. I think that bringing in florals into a room really make it look alive and it can put some pops of color in there that you didn't necessarily have. And then also I have a painting that I'm really excited to share. It's something that's really special to me and it's also gonna be hung on the wall. So the accessories are gonna make the room really pop and come to life. Okay, well that pretty much wraps up this office design session. I hope you got the ideas and the inspiration behind my office transformation. I am so excited to get started on this. I've already done a little bit. The shopping pretty much is done. I am ready to put this thing together. So make sure that you check back next Wednesday to see the big reveal. Thank you so much for watching.